There's a lot of misconceptions that point to sake being a novelty drink. In my experience, most customers are scared to look at a sake menu. The words, the categories, and the Japanese lingo doesn't transfer very well on paper. Monica Samuels is an amazing sake song, and today she's going to teach me about sake and pairing. Sake has been, I would say, misinterpreted for so long. Everyone understands that wine improves the dining experience, but I think that people still think that you're having sake with sushi or Japanese food because it's something that you do sake bombs with. What would you say if you and I were to go out for dinner and get a bottle or something? Focus on adjectives a little bit more, like savory, floral, fruity. You have to really just trust your palate. I'm gonna learn all this. I swear I'm gonna remember everything. Here are a couple snacks from the Shigure menu. Bonito with ponzu, fried tofu with grated daikon, scallions, and yoga, house-made pickles. And my favorite part. The main event here. This is the professional sake tasting. Yeah. I'm excited. So let's start with the first sake, the Chionosono Junmai Ginjo. I know that it's responsible to spit, but I think with sake, you really should swallow a little bit or it really keeps some in your mouth. I love it. It has a savoriness. There's almost a kombu seaweed note that I think is so great with Japanese food. So let's try it with the tofu. I think with the tofu, these are kind of more soft flavors in this dish, but having the right sake with a dish like that can kind of enhance those flavors. This is the Junmai Daiginjo from Denshin in Fukui Prefecture. A little more exuberant and vibrant. Kanpai. Completely different. Well, I would say that this is fruity, and I think that the mouthfeel is completely different, almost white pepper. Let's try this with the tomato. Wow, I don't know why more people don't do tomato pickles. Yeah, tomato is that was crazy. insane. Really enhances the sweetness of the tomato. The sake in the middle is a Kimoto Junmai. Is it just me or is it color slightly yeah. different? Because of sake ha having glucose and starch present, in the bottle it oxidizes without any oxygen exposure. So all of that color just comes from what's happening in the bottle, which is kind of cool. It looks and smells like it's going to be intense, and it's surprisingly nice and forgiving, if you will. As you put some air into the sake, it really does melt. So wait, does sake have to breathe? This brewery, actually, it's a female president, and she likes to decant her sakes, all of them. So let's try the pickled celery. It makes the sake taste kind of sweet, doesn't it? And I think on its own, it's so savory. That's the Kamoizumi, it's the unpasteurized, undiluted aged sake. I'm gonna give you this sake in a non-glass vessel. Not so aromatic sakes, having a little texture in the glass can just be a nice way to complete the experience. Smell the sake in that cup. Just smelling? Yes. Can't drink it? No. Oh, quite subtle compared to this one. And this is 18.5% alcohol, so it should, it should really pack a punch. It's almost like candy. It's thicker. It definitely stays on your tongue a lot longer. All right, I'm trying the bonito now. I think it's definitely a food sake, and I would serve it to someone so they could see how intense and impactful it is, and then see how it can accommodate these really different flavors. And then we have a nigori. It's a Junmai Ginjo nigori from Shichi Honyari in Shiga Prefecture. This is not a very sweet, cloudy sake, but in general, nigori is a little more sweet and creamy, and you don't have to have a simple sweet sake when you have nigori. All right, cheers. This is very refreshing. I think texturally, the tofu and the nigori will, will really complement each other. The nigori really makes those flavor, flavors pop for me. I feel almost kind of hearty and kind of hearty. Kind of a rustic pairing. Yeah, for me, the uh, UFO. Yuho. Well, Yuho, excuse me. So yeah, that's the sake talk. Like Hashtag <laughs> Yuho, you know. So I think uh, this one's definitely my favorite. Kampai. Cheers, kampai. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please click here. It's not, it's, it's not alcohol. It's hard to remember one sentence, trust me. Please look here for more. Let's do it. All right, here it comes. All right. Yeah, more, 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 more. <laughs> Excellent. Sorry for the weak hits. I don't want to go too crazy on this one. <laughs>